So the greatest second baseman of all time, Adam Frazier's at the plate. Taiwan Walker's on the mound, and he takes this strike that isn't a strike. And he ends up grounding out on the next pitch, but I don't know. A little suspicious. Umpire's doing him dirty, realizing he's too good at this game, need to call balls for strikes. But the next batter sees this and knows that with two strikes, he's got to protect that outside edge. And so he swings at this ball and ends up hitting a double. Again, Adam Frazier is the hero we never deserved. Brian Reynolds follows that up with a hit of his own, scores a run. Kid pulls out a broom. I don't know how he brought that into the stadium. Could be a weapon. And now dollar store Justin Turner's at the plate. And he takes the same pitch that Adam Frazier took for a ball this time. So with three balls, he takes another ball, except this ball's a strike. And now he has to take the walk of shame to pick up his bat. Walmart Justin Turner ends up walking anyways. And then the next batter after him ends up hitting a double. Couple runs score, a lot of controlled chaos. And yeah, let's look at this a little bit. So on the relay home, the catcher ends up dropping the ball. But let's say hypothetically he caught it. I'm not too sure that Justin Turner's foot is actually touching home plate there. And judging by the fact that the home plate umpire has his right hand cocked and loaded to call him out, I think he would have called him out, but since he drops it, he just plays it cool. He doesn't want another blown call on his resume today. Now the Pirates third base coach, he's the real MVP. He spots out the butterfly on the field and he's like, don't step on it, don't step on it. And then when it moves, he points it out again. He's like, don't step on it, don't step on it. Saves the butterfly's life. Now Taiwan Walker ends up walking two straight batters and now the bases are loaded. Now Newman takes another ball that's not a ball and listen to what he has to say here. Last night. Yeah. Maybe the umpire feels bad because Newman ends up hitting this dinker down the line and that's called fair I think. And a whole bunch of runs score and now a lot of people are mad. That's effing foul. Roja steps in, there's no way, that's BS. He gets kicked and then he gives a little dry hump real quick. And now the home plate umpire puts his hands on his hips and pretends like Rojas doesn't exist. Rojas tries to swim move and it doesn't work and... Now the umpires gather after all this to discuss whether or not the ball was actually fair or foul. And the home plate umpire is like, nope, didn't see Rojas on the field, don't know who that is. But that's enough home plate umpire slander for today. Let's actually review the play. Newman hits the ball straight down and he somehow manages to avoid hitting either of his feet or any body part. And so, no foul ball yet. Ball takes a wicked spin and it's foul, 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 foul. Runner jukes out the ball and now it's fair. Now, Taiwan Walker ends up swatting this ball way foul. And I always wondered why people do this because even if you fool the umpire, can't they just review the play? Wrong. They can't review the play. I was today years old when I found out that apparently fair foul calls can only be reviewed if they land beyond the third or first base umpire. Oh, and also that corn dogs are called corn dogs because it's hot dogs wrapped in cornbread. I don't know which one of those facts are more crazy. Now, once the umpire calls this ball fair, you got two very different reactions that happen at the same time. Mets third baseman is like, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Pirates third base coach again coming up clutch and he's like sending the runner as fast as he can. Now, if you watch this angle, maybe the third base coach, his arms got tired or something because he uses both of them to send the runners. Now, the Mets just end up playing really bad baseball here. The catcher immediately looks towards his dugout and is like, challenge that. Walker immediately goes up to the umpire to complain. And the third baseman is in shambles again. And what do all three of these players have in common? They're not going after the ball. In fact, the only player that actually makes a play on the ball is the shortstop who's sprinting over from second base to get the ball. But yeah. For all those who think the Pirates suck, I guess the Mets just sucked a little more today. Now this video is sponsored by Ross Siete. They're a dope streetwear, hype beast type clothing brand. They got some shirts based off of some of your favorite baseball teams. But they also just have really great merch that you can wear and feel comfortable on the streets. They even have hats. And they also got a special promo. If you use the code SAM11 at checkout, you can get 20% off all the merch. They support me, so by supporting them, you're also supporting me and helping me create this dope content. Happy Sunday. Hope y'all are doing well. was reading Psalm 35 today where the psalmist writes, Say to my soul, I am your salvation. And his plea is basically, God, remind me that you are my salvation. That's not anything I've done, so strip down my pride. But also, in my weakest, darkest moments, Remind me that there is still hope for salvation. That's my encouragement to y'all today.